Hello welcome to my channel, in this video we will talk about some facts and information about bacterial vaginosis treatment and prevention. One of the most unpleasant vaginal infections is bacterial vaginosis. This is one of the top three most common vaginal infections which also include trichomoniasis which is an STD and a yeast infection caused by fungus. This article discusses bacterial vaginosis treatment and prevention. Bacterial vaginosis is the most misdiagnosed and least understood of the three vaginal infections. Research is continuing to increase in this area mainly due to the condition being discovered as leading to various health problems such as premature birth, infertility, increased postpartum infections, being more vulnerable to STDs including HIV if the condition is left untreated and many other health conditions that may be developed if bacterial vaginosis is left untreated. Approximately a third of all pregnant women are infected with the condition making it crucial that treatment is sought as soon as possible to prevent birth complications. Although bacterial vaginosis can lead to increased vulnerability to STDs if left untreated, it is not considered a sexually transmitted disease and cannot be transferred from one person to another as an STD can. Although the causes of bacterial vaginosis are not clearly known, having multiple sexual partners is a possible trigger for the condition. Vaginal douching has also been linked to increasing the risk of developing the risk so this should be avoided when an infection is identified. This type of vaginal infection develops when there is an imbalance in the various types of bacteria in the vagina. A vast number of bacteria can dwell in a normal vagina. These bacteria when functioning normally keep the vagina's pH levels normal. An imbalance of certain bad bacteria in the vagina which overtake good bacteria leads to various vaginal infections including bacterial vaginosis and usually results in abnormal vaginal discharges. The abnormal discharge associated with bacterial vaginosis has a foul fishy smelling odor. This is usually one of the only symptoms of this type of vaginal infection. The abnormal discharge is usually thin and white to gray in color. If you think that your discharge is excessive when compared to your normal discharge, this could be the first sign of an infection. Some women with the condition do not display any symptoms at all. Treatment Traditional treatment methods usually involve antibiotics that are prescribed by a doctor that are taken either orally or applied locally to the vagina. Pregnant women should exercise caution with any treatment for the condition and should always consult a doctor before starting any treatment regimen. Because traditional medicine does not treat the underlying root cause of bacterial vaginosis, almost 50% of women who receive traditional treatment for bacterial vaginosis will develop the condition within the year following the treatment. Natural or holistic treatment options provide the best solution to treating this vaginal infection once and for all because they deal with the root cause of the problem. Many natural treatment remedies have been found to work wonderfully at treating the infection for most sufferers without the related side effects that are present with traditional bacterial vaginosis treatments. Natural treatments also cost significantly less than traditional medicines and use ingredients that are easily available. Please, after you have finished watching the video, we advise you to look at the links in the description. There is something very important and useful waiting for you. Prevention Although no single cause has been identified as leading to bacterial vaginosis, maintaining a proper diet and adopting a healthy lifestyle is the best preventative method. If you are a smoker, consider steps to help you quit. Additional tips to decrease the risk of developing the condition include A. Eliminating vaginal douching B. Reducing the number of sexual partners C. Using protection such as condoms during sexual intercourse D. Avoiding bubble baths and most feminine hygiene sprays including perfumes. E. Wiping from front to back after urinating to avoid contact with the rectum. In the end, please activate the bell button subscribe to the channel to receive from us all that is new. For more information about bacterial vaginosis treatment and prevention, please visit my own site, you will find the website link in the description. Thank you.